This is a podcast of Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego. To learn more about how you can support Scripps, visit us online at scripps.ucsd.edu. We are in the Surya village, the town next to the village. Virabhadran Ramanathan is back on the streets of his native India. Ramanathan is a professor of atmospheric and climate sciences at Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego. He is embarking on another among dozens of research projects he has headed up over a career of 40 years. But this one might be the most personal. Project Surya, named from the Sanskrit word for sun, is on one level an experiment to measure how the atmosphere responds to the removal of smoke and soot particles that typically color the sky in this region of India's Uttar Pradesh state. It is also a demonstration of how people in many developing countries could live healthier lives while making an immediate impact on climate change. In the West, diesel exhaust is the main source of soot and other forms of black carbon that contribute to global warming. In developing countries like India, biomass burning, especially to fire household stoves, is the main source. The goal of Surya is to change the way people cook. Three years ago, I realized that the uh, climate problem is significantly more serious than what we had assumed it to be. Basically, that we have already committed the planet to about two and a half degree warming already. And the only reason we've not seen it is that this warming has been masked by particles we have put in the air which reflect sunlight and cool and has offset the warming. We have to do something to reduce the warming. One of the most effective ways to cut down what I call short-term climate warming agents. Black carbon is one such warming agent. Black carbon comes from diesel combustion, fossil combustion, but also biofuel cooking. So I have focused on black carbon from biofuel cooking because it's also a major health hazard. Causes over two million deaths in Asia alone. And my work suggests it's also contributing to retreat of the Himalayan glaciers. I have personal experience with this. You know, when I used to spend my summers in the village and I've seen how it's done and it causes uh, tremendous health problems. In October 2009, after more than two years of gathering support and financing, Ramanathan and collaborators from the Energy and Resources Institute in India distributed efficient, low-emission cookers and solar-powered lanterns to households in the village of Kairatpur, located south of the Indian city of Lucknow. Most village residents live below the poverty line, gathering sticks, wood, and cow dung to make fires in homemade stoves. Now, during the first phase of Surya, these residents will serve as collaborators, deploying air filters in their houses and transmitting data through supplied cell phones. We want to uh, take a large region of at least about five to 10,000 homes with a population of 30 to 50,000, switch the cooking, essentially create a black carbon hole and capture that with some of the most sophisticated instruments we have ever deployed, both in each of the homes, making measurements inside of air pollution and black carbon, measure outside, and we also want to monitor this region with satellites. I, I think Surya is a unique uh, project in the sense that it is bringing uh, the, the three critical aspects of uh, climate, of uh, rural health and rural development together in an integrated manner uh, by, by a very critical intervention which focuses on, on cooking and uh, the negative effects of cooking, particularly on, on the health of women and children. So by focusing on that and focusing on looking at better options for cooking and better cooking technologies, 
uh, Surya is aiming to a, intervene at the household level in terms of improving the indoor air quality, mm -hmm. uh, which of course links it directly to, to, the, to health and to rural development. Ramanathan hopes that the legion of clean burning stoves will grow from hundreds to millions across South Asia. Many obstacles remain though. The scientists are overseeing the supply of cookers to people who can scarcely afford them. And once the cookers are introduced, the researchers must also manage the perceptions of the stoves by their intended users. In fact, one component of Project Surya is a sociological analysis of what motivates people to accept new ways of doing things in their everyday lives. That feedback will guide the rollout of cookers as the project goes on. Ramanathan understands the challenges, but remains optimistic. I think this whole concept of uh, switching cooking to cleaner cooking is uh, easier said than done, primarily because the fuel is available free. And so that's going to be one of the biggest hurdles in switching to the alternate stoves, which invariably invests, you know, requires the investment in fuel. And the second is, this is something they have done traditionally, and we know from our own experience of barbecuing, cooking with fresh fire and smoke has its own aroma for the food, which they're going to miss. But my hope is the other half of the population, three billion, have switched. I think while the challenges are immense, my own personal uh, optimism is because the climate has changed the equation. Currently, it's our estimate roughly 3 billion of the world's poor are forced to use biofuel cooking. It's not because they want to destroy the environment, simply because they have no access to fossil fuel. Even if they had access, they can't pay for it. So if we can use the climate to help them, my calculations suggest it'll have an immediate effect in slowing down global warming. Kai Ratpur is but one small testbed in which an acceptance of new ideas is underway in developed and developing nations alike. What ultimately protects future generations from the worst effects of global warming might have less to do with international agreements than with the spread of the very individual discovery that solving the world's problems sometimes means solving problems right at home. This has been a presentation of Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego.